the Aquarius woman, she is a walking contradiction. Sometimes she is snappy, and the other time she is excited, and the other time she is acting like a little kid, and the other time something is bothering her, and she's mad for no reason. Uh, but overall, she is a walking paradox. One of the most interesting women, and the most difficult to understand. There will be times where you see that her heart is on her sleeve, and then you will, there, you, you will see other times where she is shut off from the world. It is quite the paradox. I think Aquarius women are the most odd of women. Coming from a Scorpio man as well, to say that must be a huge statement, but I do believe so. <laughs> Welcome back to the Scorpio Scriptures Podcast. I'm your host, Master J. This is where we talk about astrology, all things Scorpio related, and expansion of consciousness. So today we're going to talk about the Aquarius woman and just what I like about them, just what I love about them. You know, it's always good to spread love and share the things you love about people. Because when you share the things you dislike about people, you're really exposing things about yourself. And you're really holding on to a negative energy, negative frequency. But when you share things you love about people, it is a universal law of increase that love will come back to you for all things are energy. You don't believe in karma. That's weird because everybody inherently knows karma is real. <laughs> now, let's talk about the Aquarius woman. If there's one woman that confuses me the most. Ah, it is the Aquarius woman. They are the most consistently of inconsistent women overall. Like you never know what you're gonna get when you see this woman. It's like opening Pandora's box. It's, it's like a tornado walks in the room. What's the tornado gonna do? Is it gonna destroy the building or is it just gonna flow right by? <laughs> Usually these women have a interesting appearance. I say the Aquarius woman is the one woman that can pull off many different styles of clothing. She's not afraid to break the mold and she's not afraid to have her own style. I would imagine that many runway models are Aquarius women, right? On the walkway doing that little model walk because an Aquarius woman can wear a tinfoil hat a, 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 a paper bag and like seven inch heels and somehow she'll be able to pull that off <laughs> you know they have that look they have that look in the eyes too that you see in many models where it's like where they're like ooh look at me ooh huh. <laughs> and they always have these, these very interesting facial features because Aquarius they kind of look like aliens because that is what they are. They're out of this world woman and their their face also matches it too. They'll almost have like a inhuman look to them. Not in an offensive way, like I'm calling you a butter face. <laughs> More like otherworldly look. And usually their face will be a little slim and their eyes will be very, very, very uh, large alien like like right? not normal human they'll have this interesting nose shape as well but the aquarius woman is overall she is an out of this world woman she has an out of this world personality she has an out of this world fashion style and she has this out of a out of this world facial features everything about her is out of this world and i do say they are the only woman as a scorpio man where i do believe they are confusing the same way a woman look at scorpio men it's the same way I, as a Scorpio man, look at Aquarius women. Because I'm like, what is this? <laughs> like, what am I talking to? Who am I talking to? It's very interesting. Because you never know what an Aquarius woman is going to say. And not only do you never really know what they're going to say, you never really know what they care about. And you never really know what angers them a lot. What angers them. And some man listening might be like, that's all women, Jay. No, it's not all women. Some women you understand. <laughs> You just understand them, right? Especially your woman that you know. You just understand the way they are. The Aquarius woman, all you can hope to do is to understand that she you she will be tough to understand, and that's enough. 
that's enough for many wild nights that's for enough for many good times that's enough for many laughs because she is a walking contradiction she's cute she's spunky she's funny she's vicious she's sweet she's caring she's independent she's dependent she's all sorts of things all at the same time now these women uh what i do believe their talent is the most is embodying the energy that they want to embody in that moment so Aquarius woman, obviously Aquarius woman, you might see one in the store or in the library, right? And she's just wearing sweats and, you know, looking like a normal girl. And she might notice you. She might go, oh, that guy is cute. Oh, he's cute. And then you come in two days later and she's all dolled up. Looking bad. When I say looking bad... I mean, looking bad. <laughs> Let me tell you something. These women, they really know how to accentuate their futures, if you know what I mean. And you will never know. They will look like a completely different person because they really know how to fit into the energy that they want to fit because they are the sign of air, right? So air, what is air? Air is literally formless. But it could be a... Uh, Whoo, nice cool breeze, calm you down. Or it could be hot, right, to dry something up. Or it could be vicious, like a tornado. So air is that one thing that is, we need it to live, but it can destroy you if you have too much. But it will kill you when you don't have enough. Oxygen, air. The Aquarius woman, she, she really is like a walking, uh, walking tornado, right? You never really know when the tornado is going to come out. And you hate to love it. You love to hate it. And, and it is confusing. Very confusing. Very interesting of women. These women are the type to not really care about social norms. They really break all social norms just by being. And the most interesting thing with these women is... Their spiritual nature really flows out in their flesh. You know, we talk about spirituality and having a spiritual side and, you know, there are many faces to people. But the Aquarius woman, her spiritual nature, her spiritual side is almost always combined with her physical side, her physical expression. So in the little things that they do day to day you can observe them and you can see their spirit flowing through them you know even when you are working even when she is cooking even when she is just doing her job even when she is just being quiet you can see her her spiritual energy is combined with her physical energy and you can notice that everything she does is animated it's very animated it's very lively it's very lifelike these women have a interesting movement quite fascinating mm. they are like spirit in human form they really are like fairies like little fairies like little pixies <laughs> and you know what you know what let me just say this I'm not a I'm not a leg guy, right? I never really notice when people say she got some nice legs. Like, I've never seen the appeal. Really. I'm more looking at that ass. <laughs> I'm a butt. You know, I like that butt dunk. And I like... I don't know. I, I tend to look at all one at once in, a, in, in the beautiful woman. But the Aquarius woman... And then one thing she got, she got them legs, bro. I have never found the appeal of legs, but I understand it. I understand it. When you see an Aquarius woman, they got them legs, especially them ankles, which is weird. I don't understand how people are into feet. I don't understand how people are into, into you know, uh, into each his own. But this Aquarius woman, they got some nice legs and they got some nice ankles. I think that's the highlight of their body is their legs they can they can really like mm, mm, mm. like they can really strut 
they can really strut, and they can really work it. They can really work it. Something about it. Something about it. You ever seen Aquarius woman legs? Boy, sit your ass down. Because if you stand up right now, you know, you're gonna embarrass yourself. <laughs> Shoot. I gotta keep it PG. I gotta keep it PG. I'm trying to hold back. You can find the uh, non PG stuff in the description. <laughs> I have to put a filter amongst my words. For YouTube, there are children around here. And children should not hear grown people stuff. If you want a really good assistant, you get an Aquarius woman. If you want a woman who will love you very hard, but yell at you at the same time, you get an Aquarius woman. If you want a walking contradiction and one of the most interesting of women with a un, 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 inhumane, unique sense of style, a sense of fashion, and a look and an appearance that can appear to be multiple women, you get an Aquarius woman. That's an Aquarius woman. She is ever morphing and taking shape and taking form. One day she's a tornado. One day she's soft as a little cloud. One day, she's a breath of fresh air. 